Hello everybody, welcome back. So uh, I'm going to bring this chart to your attention for the degenerates out there that man <laughs> that, that like things that look like this. Remember, this is a chart that's just wet behind the ears, so indicators haven't really got an enormous amount of relevance. All indicators are based around price, volume and time, so in the absence of time we only really have those other two. So we're going to focus on those other two and uh, work out if this is something that we can buy. So th this, this is XAI on the daily. So it started off, obviously, just literally just going absolutely mental, um, more or less one cent all the way up to a dollar. So it did over a 100x on its first day, which is ridiculous. Um, it's abso absolutely ridiculous, to be fair. So I can't really say that this is definitely going to work out. But the thing I wanted to put to you is that there is on the daily this enormous, enormous bullish divergence, which is still effectively um, continuing with its upside momentum. More or less the same thing with the money flow index as well. So you've got evidence of, of it wanting to turn around. And if it does, if it's capable of doing a 100x on its first day, it's definitely capable of doing a 100% uh, when it turns around. So if we're looking at this based on, again, it's not very old, so we don't, we don't have an enormous amount to go by. But what we do have is a, a 200 exponential and a simple moving average, uh, which exists ever so slightly above us in the context of a volatile chart, that would be. So if you're going to have a spring, board there's a couple of places where uh, areas that i'd be relatively interested in putting sell orders in uh, one is going to be around 39 and obviously wherever these are at the time would be the next level they're descending obviously because after it doing its 100x um, it did a significant pullback of about 89 percent no big deal there obviously we you should have imagined or expected something like that to have happened after something does ten thousand percent in a day so all of that's over now. As far as I can tell, this the sellers have sold. Most people are wrecked. Uh, and if it's going to move up, it should be doing it roughly from these areas. So again, we're, we're, we're back down quite close uh, to the, uh, the the low that was formed down here at uh, 16 and a half cents. We're currently just floating around that 22. So we're going to have to zoom right in to have a look at the relationship to moving averages um, uh, as of this very moment in time. So... This, to me, looks a lot like an accumulation formation. Uh, we're zigzagging up and down, up and down, up and down, uh, side to side to side, and a lot of altcoins are doing the same. So I'm thinking if there's going to be a push uh, across the board for all altcoins, and again, there is a lot of altcoins doing this formation, it, mean, it means that they're vulnerable in the interim. Yeah, they might they might just fail. If Bitcoin decides it's going to break down below its uh, uh, 10 exponential, which is a possibility, and move down to the 21, then this will come back down to uh, these teens, I would imagine, these upper to low, uh, upper to mid teens. But until it does that, it is getting support on the 10, then there's the 21, which is down here at, tw at 21 and a half cents, and then the 20, which is down at 21.2 cents. So, you know, there's no pump signal or anything like that going on right now on this daily. There is just a simple formation uh, which is vulnerable to Bitcoin's uh, behavior. But if, for what, if Bitcoin refuses to break down and the market continues to move up, this one could pop quite significantly. And if we were thinking about like that move from basically where we are right now to the first area of resistance, it's a 74% move. And then you've got a 90 to 110% move. And that's just based on what we see on the daily. If you move over to the weekly, there is a much bigger area of resistance that you could even see us move over to. Roughly these candle body highs around the upper 50s towards 60 cents. So look, I know what this sounds like, and I don't want everybody to just think, oh, wow, this might do a big move, so I'm going to put my entire net worth in it. No, this is a wrecked city chart. Absolutely wrecked city. This is this is why I introduced it for the degenerates out there, because you can't put a load of money into this and expect not to get wrecked. There's what, so that's what people have been doing since it did its, whatever it was, 150 x move so don't assume that because you've bought it it's going to do this it, it doesn't have to but if it is going to do it it has the potential to, to do a up to a 100 percent move based on the momentum um it's uh, it's worth talking about i think it's worth talking about but that doesn't mean that it's got a good degree of success it absolutely doesn't because it's down almost 90 percent from its peak so just recognize what it is that i've said there i know some people don't quite understand it sometimes and they think because I'm making a video, it means it has to work out. Absolutely does not have to work out. It's high risk, high reward. And if it is to reward you, um, you should still have to be pretty careful about you know, holding on to it for a long period of time because this has effectively become a down only chart. And we've got all this area to go down to, back down to where it started from, and then some. 
So we don't know the nature of uh, of the of, of the market in the short term. This could lose these areas, go down to the teens, and then once it loses that, those mid-teens areas, you, you know, the only thing we've got going for us is the inception point, which is closer to one cent than anything. So just because it's down 90% doesn't mean it can't go down another 90%. That's, that's, that is the case. So just, just remember what it is that I'm referring to here. Um, we look and appear to be in an accumulation period for all altcoins. So we're looking at this through the lens of like the market capitalization, the market capitalization, total two, total three, and others basically um, uh, being able to bounce from these center ranges. And if this does do it, like I say, it will probably outperform a lot of the other altcoins in the short term. But there's so much resistance above us. Uh, that we can get hit by and just as we've seen something moves up massively it moves down massively up 10,000 percent down 90 percent you know if we move up 100 percent be prepared to come back down another 50 60 70 or maybe even lower than it is today so i'm just trying to put something on your radar that i like the look of and it's mostly based upon the bullish divergence which has been in place since july and august so Quite long standing for a chart of, well, again, like I said, it's wet behind the ears, it's fresh out onto the market, really. So I'll leave with you there. It's an interesting one. Uh, it's absolutely not worth harvesting a kidney for, uh, but it's, it's worth keeping in your, you know, in the corner of your eye to see if it does materialize into one of these big pumps, which, which it could. And look, if the market decides it does go bullish over a 12 month period and you bought something like this, these are the sort of coins that could be like the lottery ticket type vibes. You know, the last, the last market cycle, we had Matic, you know, and then the prior one to that, we had XRP. You know, this could be one of those. Um, so it, it could be, but it, it, it absolutely could be zero it could turn to fairy dust in front of your face and then get delisted and then basically live on probit as a gravestone of a crypto coin right so that is that i'll leave with you there um recognize what i said bear everything i said in mind this isn't guaranteed at all in any way to do anything other than create pain and tears um, but if it does move it has the capacity to launch quite quickly and significantly into these areas Sell order one, two, and three. Right, I'll leave you with it there. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.